Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of Firewood Doctor. Uh, today I'm going to be trying out these generic uh, pellets as Black Hills Gold. I'm going to try that in the uh, 5 inch Havato fire pit 5.5. So I'm going to try getting it started with this fire starter. Put this cup over it. And fill it with pellets and see how well that works. So this is my first time using pellets in one of these things. So this will be a little different. So you're going to see this for the first time. Honest to God's truth of me trying pellets in here. Because there are two ways to do it. Put a fire starter and just put the pellets around it. Or you could use that cup thing to allow it to breathe. And to help uh, get fire to the pellets. Because if you put pellets around it, it'll light it and then put pellets around it, you could snuff it out. Or you could do the top-down method by filling it all the way up to the bottoms just below these holes with pellets. Stick that in the middle of it, kind of surround it, bury it, squish it in there, and then light it. We're going to try this cup version first. Do this properly. Okay, well, let's see if I could get that. Go, d darn it. Well, it's not going to be in the center of it, so I got to start putting pellets on it. smell the wax and stuff on that fire starter yeah it's a little on unlevel ground heck with it I'll pull it up Hey, how you oh, use a scooper in to get that out? Well, now we're gonna do it the uh, top-down method anyway, so that was a a bust. We'll leave a. Uh, All right, that's as much as I dare put in there. We'll see how that works. Remember, this is my first time using pellets in the wood stove, or I should say, uh, the mini fire pit.
Okay, so about six minutes in, I lit this one with the fire starter down on the bottom, surrounded by pellets, level with rough, roughly level with the top of the fire starter. And that, I figured, would allow airflow to really get this going. And 12 minutes after that, I put a couple of scoops in there, and uh, that was just at the end of that hyperlapse segment. Now it's blowing good flames again. This one, I had to use a second fire starter. I forget the time index, but it took forever for this one to get going, and now that one's finally going good. This style, you're going to have to add pellets to it, you know, once it gets going. So this one, you don't have to until it burns way down, and who knows how long that's going to take. So, yeah, we'll uh, see how these go. The flames from this one, much better because, you know, it's in the re it's in the, the secondary burn effect has greatly kicked in. You could tell when that kicked in. Uh, when I put the pellets in there, I could still see through the flames. Camera probably doesn't show it, but the pellets are given off like a whitish smoke. And then those gases get burned once it gets up higher. So let's uh, give this a few more minutes and then see how it's going. Look at the smoke from these pellets. That is like an eerie mint green type of smoke and that's what's burning as soon as it gets up to the to the secondary burn area then those vapors ignite it's making a really good flame lighting your pellet fires this might be the way to go if you want a good flame right away this style top down it's going to take a while what you want is that little layer zoom back out here so my fingers aren't so close what you want is that a thinner layer of pellets say like about a three quarter of an inch to an inch so you can get airflow coming up through it with the fire starter so then it burns out in the middle then you have all that airflow then once the pellets catch then you can add more but man these flames are probably about you know Two feet, you know, eight, 18 to 24 inches above the pit. It depends. It depends on uh, where it is in the burn cycle. But yeah, and the little flickers of flame coming off of the tips, where more gases burn. When gas could actually escape to, you know, as much as 20, 24 inches, and then the flames light it up. It's kind of cool. You once in a while you see a, a rogue piece of flame, you know around this area up here that's because the gases are burning but take a look at that that is so cool i like that all that gas down in there then it really highlights how the uh secondary burn works this one's starting to get it here this one's starting to get it so i don't know how much heat is down in the bottom not the brightest thing to do yeah, you don't get any heat until you're right at about fire level on this one. Well, that one's hot all the way. There's no touching that one. All right, folks. So what have I learned from this? I'm going to start it with pellets the way I did this one so I can get the flame right away. This one, uh, it might work if I don't bury the fire starter. The one on the left, the mini one. It may have also something to do with the size because this is like a seven inch and this is like a five and a half, five to five and a half inch outside. So that might have something to do with it. Oh, now we get a slight breeze. First time there's like a breeze out here all day, I swear. But it's letting off a weird smoke. So, yeah, my advice is to just uh, put the fire starter in there. Surrounded with pellets to the height of the fire starter when you're using that tumbleweed style. I think that's what it's called. That stringy uh, fire starter made out of uh, wood shavings. It's some kind of waxy material. Uh, I still got to get the fire starters I really want to work with to test them. But 
look at that flame pattern. Look at that flame pattern. That is kind of cool when the wind blows it. So yeah, um, now this one on the left is starting to burn good. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, see how long this one burns. So I'll, I'll maybe I'll put in a video clip at the end of this video to show how this one's going. So when this flame starts to die down, then I'm going to add uh, fuel to that one. This one, I don't have to because it's all full of pellets. So, Well, that's it, folks. Till next time, take care. Get out there, do something. Have fun doing it. Well, about an hour, 10, hour 15 after initially lit this one, this one just died out instantly. I mean, it just died without warning. So, yeah, you're going to... It's a little harder to tell when that one, because that one was just flaming. I just turned my head for a second, you know, for a couple of seconds, uh, look at my phone off to the side here, and it's like, dang, that one went out. There's all kinds of uh, charcoal in there. So I don't know if this that one will light again. We'll just have to see how much heat uh, is still in there. But that one's going good because... Uh, even if the flame dies, that one still has plenty of heat to get it, get the flames going again. Well, it looks like when the mini, uh, the five incher class goes out, it goes out. All it is is off gassing. Uh, it's basically filled with charcoal because all the usable fuel is burnt off. All that's left behind is the carbon, and that just isn't burning. But I've been able to keep the bigger one going, even though it's gone down to almost nothing. Uh, the bigger one's going to be easier to uh, get going on pellets again. And then, plus, you know, they have more room. I could stir up the uh, pellets in that one better than this one to get flame going.